Are they nice people? They're, they're so nice. I met Kiefer a while ago, uh, and he seemed very nice. He's very nice. His acting skills are pretty remarkable. You know, it's funny. I, I mean, asked, they're all remarkable. I asked him the other night. I just said, uh, you know, because he plays music and he tours and stuff. And I'm like, do you love music more than? He's like, you know what? I uh, I love them. I love acting. I, I love it. I love being on set. I love, I just, I mean, he really was, pat, like, I was like, it was just a, like, are you still, are you like, and he just went into the zone of, like, passion. And I was like, that, holy shit, I wish I felt like that. Do you feel, are you pretty passionate about everything you do? Do you, do you love it? Or is it, uh, some of it you love, some of it, you, it it's work. Uh, I, I would love acting if it all started at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and ended at four. And ended at four. No, I'd be willing to go. Like, Seven. I did a movie where I shot it at night, and I was like, this is perfect. This oh, that was is, the horror movie. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, get to work at seven, and I'm all awake, and I can stay up all night, and then go have breakfast, and then fall asleep for six hours. So you like that? I liked that a lot. I don't like, I, I, I. It's the yeah. only thing that bothers me. 6 a.m. to like 7 30 at night. It's just, and then you get home and you're learning. I mean, it's great. And, and you're learning more. Yeah. And I, that's just when people like, you know, Hollywood, you guys just still have, I was like, nobody works harder than us. Now, and that's all I'd be like, when the, like, Teamsters will drive off the road falling asleep and they had to change the rules. And I, because they need to get them hotel room so they don't fall asleep while driving. And I was like, and, I, and so I'm always, I'm always defending oh my gosh they're the first ones there the last ones to yeah. leave and they've like worked the hardest yeah they're and or the people that like show up and set up all the food and everybody yeah it's, everybody and, they, and it, it takes this great wonder that's what i think yeah it's the greatest business of all i really do fucking love the business and so when it's something i when i'm having fun doing it i still can't believe people pay us to do it like yeah like i have no discernible skills other than have you heard of pickleball okay second time i mentioned it and uh no <laughs> uh, uh but i can't believe it. so anyway that all said it's i i do love it i don't like being away so much but i do it's all i ever wanted to do i don't i'm not one of those dickheads that gets on set and just pissed because <laughs> you know, yeah you, you, well, you don't seem like, like that guy yeah but you know you like they be, don't want to be there yeah you're like why you don't why have to you, do this yeah why are you doing it yeah and then they're like, well, I'm getting paid a lot. Well, if you're getting paid a lot, you should be happy. Right. You know what it comes down to? They're not happy. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people aren't happy. That's what I was, I was kind of uh, in a roundabout way of getting to that point where I see, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't look happy with what they're doing. You were talking about Brando. Maybe he wasn't happy. Yeah. I think it's obvious he wasn't happy. He just, uh, but did you ever have that, that feeling where, you didn't feel like you were a happy person and you go, how do I become a happier person? I think if you deal with your shit, if you go to therapy and make sure you're okay, that, yeah. that's helpful, which is what I had to do because I, during the pandemic, I began to have a lot of, I mean, I think I had anxiety in general, but I was like, oh, this is not a feeling I've ever had before. Like where I'm like, wor like anxious for no reason that I can figure out other than there's a worldwide pandemic happening. <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah. And so I was like, oh, I should go take care of this and, you know, find out other things. But no, I, I think you're right. You can tell when people are on sets that are just miserable and you're like, so sorry that this job you accepted and, you know, you, you, you we've all worked with them. But I'm sure that's in every single line of work or maybe not. I mean, yeah. no, I, I mean, I, you know, usually people are doing they hate the jobs they're doing because mostly they're not getting paid well or treated fairly or, you know, they're yeah. going same kind of bullshit thing, this cyclical, redundant, like, you know, this is my life. Yeah. And that sucks. And I always say, like, well, you know, try to do something fun on the side. Try to do something you're passionate yeah. about. Try to, you know, but it doesn't make as much sense when you're making a killer amount of money, like, you know, studio heads and, you know, yeah, big conglomerate uh, CEOs and, all these people who have everything and they're it's just, and you have to think well they just weren't happy before that's right yeah and they I think, just weren't happy before i think is not there some cutoff point with money like they figured out when like, do you need enough one when it, there's a tipping point where it becomes too much of a burden and i forget what that i mean that's i'm sure it's not across the board but 
like where you read a thousand times like they won 50 million dollars in the lottery and three years later half their family was dead and they had lost <laughs> all the money you know it was just like oh what a terrible time they had yeah yeah i don't yeah no I, I, it just it's hard to understand i've always been like you know all right how much do i have to live i could live for this long i remember even when i was living in new york all right you can you can get through this month oh wow you have three months of rent paid it was 230 dollars because i live with three guys in a one bedroom okay you have this this is food this is oh my gosh you have like 200 dollars in the bank you're all right this is good and then all of a sudden but then as i got you know luckier and started making more money it never stopped it was like okay let's if it all ended now uh this lifestyle i could live and for me it's just about being able to live a certain lifestyle where i could just I hang agree. out with my friends and just enjoy things and i don't have to just break even not dip in any savings and just i don't need to be a billionaire i don't need to make that much money i'm just you know i don't have a family like you but you know it's uh 